Media playback is unsupported on your device. Media caption New York terror attack How the events unfolded Five friends from Argentina were among those killed in a truck attack in New York on Tuesday. Eight people were killed and 11 injured when the driver of the truck hit people on a cycle path in Lower Manhattan. A 29-year-old man, reported to be an Uzbek immigrant, was shot and injured by police as he left the vehicle. U.S. President Donald Trump has ordered the Department of Homeland Security to step up vetting measures in the wake of the attack. The suspect reportedly shouted Allahu Akbar God is greatest as he left the truck. Officials said it was a terror attack. The deaths of the five Argentines were confirmed by the country's foreign ministry. They were part of a group of 10 friends in New York to celebrate the 30th anniversary of their graduation from a polytechnic college in the central city of Rosario, Argentine media said. One of the men who d. steel firm owner Ariel Erledge helped pay for the friend's trip, La Nación newspaper reported in Spanish. Argentina's foreign ministry named the men all reportedly aged 48 or 49 as Diego Enrique Angelini, Alejandro Damien Panuco, Ariel or legend Ernan Farrick. Another of the friends, Martin Ludovico Maro, is being treated in hospital. Three days of mourning have been called in Rosario, Clara newspaper reported. A Belgian national was also killed, Belgium's foreign minister said. Two other victims have not yet been identified. How did the attack unfold? Media playback is unsupported on your device. Media caption way will be undeterred by the attack, says New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio at a news briefing. New York Police Department NYPD Commissioner James O'Neill said shortly after 1500 local time 1900 GMT, a white pickup truck rented from retailer Home Depot struck cyclists and pedestrians while being driven along the West St. Houston St. Path for many blocks. The vehicle then hit a school bus, injuring two adults and two children on board, and came to a halt. The driver emerged holding what appeared to be two handguns and made a statement consistent with a terror attack. He was shot in the abdomen by a police officer stationed near the scene. A paintball gun and a pellet gun were recovered from the scene. Mangled bicycles littered the scene of the attack, which occurred as much of the city was celebrating Halloween. Media playback is unsupported on your device. Media caption emergency services on the scene of the attack. One witness, identified as Eugene, told ABC Channel 7 that he saw the white pickup truck driving fast down the cycle path alongside the West Side Highway, near Stuyvesant High School, at speed and hitting a number of people. He also reported hearing about 9 or 10 shots. Another witness, who gave his name as Frank, told local TV network NY1 that he had seen a man running around an intersection and heard five to six gunshots. I saw he had something in his hand, but I couldn't tell what it was. But they said that it was a gun. When the cops shot him, everybody started running away and it got a little bit crazy right there. So when I tried to look again, the guy was already down. What has been the reaction? President Trump had been briefed about what happened in New York on Tuesday afternoon, the White House said. He then took to Twitter, saying in NYC, looks like another attack by a very sick and deranged person. Law enforcement is following this closely, not in the USA. We must not allow ISIS Islamic State to return or enter our country after defeating them in the Middle East and elsewhere. Enough my thoughts, condolences and prayers to the victims and families of the New York City terrorist attack. God and your country are with you. He also announced that he had ordered the extreme vetting program to be stepped up. He did not elaborate further. Meanwhile, New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio said the incident in Manhattan was a cowardly act of terror aimed at innocent civilians. We know that this action was intended to break our spirit. But we also know that, New Yorkers are strong, New Yorkers are resilient and our spirit will never be moved by an act of violence and an act meant to intimidate us, he said. What is known about the suspect image copyright St. Charles County Police Department image caption U.S. media identified the suspect as Seo Sapov, seen in this 2016 photo the NYPD said only that the attacker was a 29-year-old man. However, U.S. media named him as Seo Sapov, who had reportedly lived in Tampa, Florida, and Patterson, New Jersey. He arrived to America from Uzbekistan in 2010 and is believed to be a legal resident in the country. A note was found in the truck that referred to so-called Islamic State. Law enforcement sources were quoted as saying by U.S. media.
Three officials said Mr. Sapov had previously come to the federal authorities' attention as a result of an unrelated investigation, the New York Times reported. Police records show he was arrested in Missouri last year over a traffic fine.